In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I achieved my wash and goes with the Diva Curl Super Cream and the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kimberly and you're watching Life with Kimberly Michelle. If this is your first time here, welcome. I do videos weekly on plus size fashion as well as natural hair. So if this is something that you like, I hope that you'll stick around and go ahead and click that subscribe button. So today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel and the Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Styler. Now the way Diva Curl defines the super cream is you it's for everything. Here, I'll just read it. This rich coconut oil infused styler gives you total freedom to express yourself with your curls. Whether you want to smooth, soften, shape, and lengthen, moisturize, define, control, boost, volume, twist out, tame, frizz, and shine, or switch up your look, Super Cream does it all. So it claims to do everything. So of course, when I read that, I was like, yes, I want that. I want that for my curls, so let's do it. So I looked at a couple of YouTube videos on this product, and everyone was raving about it. They were saying how much they love it and oh, I love it and it does so great and I love my curls. And then I tried it for the first time and I didn't like it. And I was like, what's, what's wrong with me? Why don't I like it? Why doesn't it work for my hair? And I'm like, I don't know what people are raving about. This must be for some different type of curls, not for my hair, it's for you know, like um, a looser curl or something like that. So I was like really kind of ticked off and I'm like, I can't believe I bought this and now I don't want it and I don't like it and it didn't do for me what I thought it would do. So because everyone was raving about it, I decided, let me give it another try. So I went ahead and I gave it another try. This time I decided to read the directions, use less product because it does say right on the bottle that less is more. So, you know, I figure for my hair, they always say use a little bit, but you know, for your hair, you need more product. So I'm like, well, let me just lather it on there. And it was just horrible. I can't even describe how my hair was. All I know is I had to wash it out right away because it just, it was just bad. So you do want to use just a little bit. I mean, you want to use enough to coat your curls, but don't go overboard with this like you would do any other styler. Now I've tried the super cream by itself and I must say that I do like it better when I use it with the gel. Now this is the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. I've used the super cream with the light defining gel and I've also used it with the ultra defining gel. So um, they're both pretty much the same. I think I, I just like the ultra defining gel a little bit more, but I prefer the, the super cream is okay on its own, but I do prefer it with a gel. So I did put uh, the light defining gel over the super cream. All right, so let's get into how I stop my hair with these products. Okay guys, let's get started. So I have the plastic bag on my head because I absolutely need to put my product on when my hair is soaking wet. So I did put the super cream on while it was super wet. And I just take about, I'm gonna put just a little bit more. I take about um, maybe like eight pumps of this, eight to 10 pumps. You don't wanna use too much, definitely. And then I just distribute it through my hair and get it all in there. Like I said, I already put it in there. Then I'm gonna take some of the light defining gel. Um, that is how much I'm using. Probably put a little more, but let's just start with this. And I just rub it in my hands and then I pat it through to get it on my strands. I'm gonna put just a little bit more, probably that same amount, maybe a little less. Just get it on my hands and then distribute it through like that. Okay, now once all the product is in my hair, I'm gonna section it and just finger through 
each section to distribute the product. I just want to make sure that all the product is in there. And I do the little squishy test. So I don't know if you can hear that. If you hear the wet shoe sound, then you have enough product in. If you don't hear that sound, then you want to add some more water or more product. So you start off with water and then if you still don't hear it, you want to add a little product. Okay, so I'm just going through and finger detangling and getting the product all through the hair. So for this process, I usually don't use any clips or anything. Um, you can use clips to make it easier to section the hair, but I just kind of hold my hair out of the way. Uh, okay, I feel like I need a little water on this side, so I'm just gonna spray. I'll just spray my whole head down. So I do normally do this in the shower. Well, I put the product on in the shower. The finger detangling part I do outside of the shower. Okay. So I did detangle my hair when I deep condition today. So it's not, so because I already detangled, it's a lot easier to run my fingers through. You don't wanna to put too much of that super cream on because that stuff a little bit really does go a long way. And it doesn't seem like you have a lot, but if you put too much, it is not gonna come out good. Okay, well, so once I have it all finger detangled, I like to give it a shake. So I'm gonna put my towel over my face. And scrunch the front up a little. Now it's off to the dryer. Okay guys, so I just got from under the hooded dryer. I usually sit under there for about 15 to 20 minutes depending um, if I'm in a hurry or not. So I put it on low heat, I think like level two. And um, so this is what we got. I'm just gonna fluff it out and break the cast. I usually try to stick my fingers at the root and give it a little shake to get some volume. I'm gonna let you see the back. I like the way this defines my curls. Now, before, when I first used this, I did not like it at all. And I guess I just used too much of it. So the first time I ever used Super Cream, it came out really bad. I don't know, my hair was just horrible. I did not like it. I was like, I don't see what the hoopla is about this product. This product is horrible. It must not be for my curl types because I'm never buying this again and I'm never using it again. I was just really mad because it came out so bad. But of course I decided to give it another try because I had bought the whole bottle. And I found out that I really had used way too much product. So I decided to give it another try one day and it came out fabulous. So now this is kind of my new favorite styler from Diva Curl. I really like this one. So last time I used it with the ultra defining gel and this time I decided to try it with the light defining gel. I think, I think it, it doesn't make a difference, but I think I like it better with the ultra defining gel. This is the light defining gel. But anyway, I like the way it leaves my hair nice and bouncy and it doesn't give me too much shrinkage. 
and even though um, with the front I went back over and combed it to try to shingle it um, after I fingered it through I right before I got under the dryer I ran through with a comb to try to shingle it so that I can have a little more shrinkage in the front because it's getting a little longer there and it still didn't really give me much shrinkage, which is a good thing, even though I was looking for shrinkage. Didn't really give it to me. So I like that about it. My hair feels, you can tell there's something on it, but there's no residue. I mean, you can tell it's, it's moisturized. You can kind of feel some moisturization on your fingers, but it's not, um, there's no residue. So overall, I really do like this Coconut Curl Styler Super Cream. I never can get the name right. Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. I like it. This product really has become my go-to when I know I gotta have my hair looking good and I know I, want, I can't take a chance on how it's gonna look. I always use the Super Cream because I know it's gonna turn out good every time, which is the complete opposite of how I felt about the product when I first tried it. So if you have a product and you tried it for the first time and it was just horrible and everyone else is saying it's great, try giving it another chance because the only thing that made me give it a second chance was because everyone else was saying how great the product was and how much they love the product. So I'm like, well, it's gotta be something to it. Let me try again. So I tried it again and now I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and you might as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button on your way out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.